Hi guys, it's Didi, and I'm coming to you guys today with a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale collective haul. The stuff that I'm going to show you is thing, are things that I got um, from either the store or online. I also did go to an outlet, so I'll show you guys what I got. Um, I looked online on Sunday when the sale first started for the members early access, and there wasn't anything on there that I was really super excited about. And then also I knew that a lot of stuff was going to be 75% off in the stores. And so I had already gone into this thinking that everything that I got was mainly going to be 75% off things. But I also knew that I wasn't going to pay more than $7 for any body care. Um, and I wasn't super interested in getting any candles because I still have candles left over from Candle Day. And I have other candles that I bought from like marshall's and tj maxx so i don't really need any more candles so i only got one but the first thing i'm going to start off by showing you guys is something that i got online and this wasn't part of the sale i had earned rewards so i used my rewards to get these two items and i got them online because in my um state we don't participate in the rewards program so i can earn points but I can't redeem the rewards here. So the first thing I got was Grapefruit Frosé and I was able to get the mist and the body cream in this. The notes for Grapefruit Frosé are sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé and sun splash sugar. And I absolutely love this smell. It is a super bright citrusy kind of smell. I cannot wait to wear this on pool days. And I smelled this last week when I was in the store. I had a coupon for a free full-size body care item. And I had gone into the store with the intentions of picking up the body cream for Grapefruit Frosé. But then I smelled Bonfire Bash. And I ended up getting that instead because I knew that that would layer very well with some of my perfumes that I already had. And then when I got out to the car and started driving away, I immediately regretted not getting Grapefruit Frosé. And it was just on my mind for days. So when I earned those rewards, I was like, that is what I'm getting. I'm getting that. And so I got this in my online order and I'm excited to wear that. So the next thing that I got was Velvet Sugar and I got the shower gel. I got the body cream and I got the body spray. And I ordered this online also because none of the stores that I went to had this in the store when I went in there. Um, when I went back a couple of days later, they had the shower gel for 75% off, but they didn't have any of the other pieces. And I knew this was something that I really wanted. So I just paid for it online. It was like $6.25, I believe. And that was a little more than I wanted to pay, but this is something I really wanted. So I was willing to pay the extra price. It really didn't matter to me. The notes for this are red velvet cream, golden plum, sugared musk, pink jasmine, and wild strawberries. And y'all, this smells so good. I've had this before. I actually had it when it first came out years ago. And then I kind of got out of the whole body care perfume thing. So I gave all of my stuff away. And now, you know, I regret it because I'm having to rebuy all of it. But this was something that I had and I knew that I liked it. So I was going to pay whatever the price was up to seven dollars for that the next set that i got was raspberry tangerine and i got the shower gel i got the body cream and i got the fragrance mist and i had smelled this about a month or so ago and i wasn't super impressed with it um i had ordered some things online and I didn't like the stuff that I ordered, so I took it back to the store to exchange it. And there wasn't anything there that I really wanted, so I just ended up getting um, a gift card. But when I saw this for 75% off, I went ahead and got it again, just because Amber Chantel and Jasmine Bullard on YouTube both always rave about how good this smells with the Eros EDT and I already had that perfume so I decided to get it and um, I wore this yesterday and they do smell really good layer together so that is Raspberry Tangerine. The next set that I got is Pink Chiffon and I got the Shower Gel, the 
lotion and the fragrance mist to this. And these weren't 75% off. They were $4.95 at my store. Um, this is also something that I knew that I wanted. I had had this previously. So I went ahead and picked it up. And the notes for this are sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiara flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. And like I said, this is something that I had had previously. I knew that I liked it, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then I'd seen some layering combos for this on Instagram. So I decided to pick that up. The next thing that I got was Bali Black Coconut Sands. And I got the lotion and I got the mist for this. And they didn't have the shower gel in any of the stores that I went in. That's all they had was the lotion. They didn't have the body cream and the mist, and these were 75% off. The notes for this are coconut milk, sea salt musk, and black sands. And this is just like a creamy coconut scent. Really light, I really like this. I wore this the other day. I didn't pair it with any perfume. I just wore it as soon as I got out of the shower and it smelled really good. The fragrance lasted, you know, quite a while on my skin. It's a really good inoffensive, you know, soft summer smell. This is something that I may wear year round just because it's very soft. But I really like that. I really actually like this entire kind of tropical um, kind of line. I have the Waikiki, the Oahu, and the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, and I absolutely love this line. So I may end up getting a backup of this if I can find it in any other stores. The last two stores that I've gone in, I haven't really seen this, but if they bring out some more stock of this, I may pick it up if I see it in there. And sorry if y'all can hear this noise. I'm just putting my stuff in my basket so I can have it neat and organized to put it away later on. All right, guys, the next things that I got are kind of like the bakery foodie type scent things. Um, the first thing that I picked up was this sugared cherry crisp. And I picked it up in the shower gel and the spray because that's all that they had in the store. They didn't have any lotions, body cream, anything at all in my stores. And I had never seen this before, um, so which means I never smelled it. But I saw somebody on Instagram post to layer this with the Only One Intense from Dolce & Gabbana. And that's a fragrance that I don't really care for, but I'm going to see how these layer together. Um, I wish they would have had the lotion because if, if I can only get two pieces, I would have rather have the lotion in the mist than the shower gel because to me the fragrance of the shower gel doesn't last on my skin after I get out of the shower but I just took what I could get and to be completely honest I smelled this in the store but I had I think I had just smelled so many things that everything was starting to run together smelling this straight out of the bottle now it's giving Robitussin vibes and I don't know about that. Like, I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. But to be completely honest, just straight out of the bottle, it's giving, it's giving straight up Robitussin. And I do not like that. I'm going to have to find my receipt and see about maybe taking this back because I'm not, I'm not in love with it. On the skin, it's a little... It's a little bit better. I'm sorry if y'all could hear that. That my son is in there playing Xbox and I don't I don't know what's happening. This is okay. I'm gonna try it with the Dolce and Gabbana and see how they pair together. I also have like a little body oil of uh lost cherry. So I may pair that with that and see how that um smells together. The next thing that I got was margarita cupcake and I was able to get the spray and the lotion. They did not have a shower gel of this. Um, I kind of wish they did. I really do like this scent. I haven't worn it on my body yet, but I've just smelled it out of the tube and it's just a really bright citrusy scent. I saw somebody say that they could just smell citrus and vanilla. I don't really get any vanilla from this. All I get is citrus. Um, 
kind of like a tangy citrus smell. And I guess that's from the key lime. It smells really good. Like, I'm not mad at this. If I see another set of this, I may pick up another one just because I do really like citrusy scents, especially for the summertime. So I may pick up another one if I see one. Um, but that was all I could get from that line. The next thing that I picked up was Raspberry Jam Donut and I was able to get the mist, the body cream, and the shower gel in this one. Oh, did I save the notes for Margarita Cupcake? It's Key Lime Sunny Citrus Blossom and Whipped Vanilla. And Sugar Cherry Crisp, I don't think I said the notes for that. Bright Cherry Delight, Crumble Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. Or Robitussin. Um, so for the Raspberry Jam Donut, the notes are Wild Raspberry Jam, Powdered Sugar, and Warm Fluffy Donut. And I had seen this in the store several times when I had gone in there, but I was so focused on strawberry pound cake that like nothing else in the line really mattered to me. I didn't really smell anything else because I didn't care because strawberry pound cake was that girl. But since this was 75% off and I had seen people raving about it on YouTube and Instagram, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And I do actually like it. I think I got some on my nose. I do like this. Um, some people were saying that this and strawberry pound cake were similar. I don't smell the similarities to those. Strawberry pound cake is super sweet. Um, to me, this, like you can really smell that bakery note in this, to me. You can really smell that donut. So they're, they don't smell similar to me at all. I really do love this. I can't wait to wear it. I think this is something that I would probably wear all year long just because it's that gourmand kind of scent. And I love gourmands in the fall and winter time. But I think this would also, the fruity sweetness of it would also be good in the summer. So this is something that I would definitely probably wear all year long. And the final thing that I got from that bake shop line was the coconut cream pie. And I was able to get the mist the cream and the shower gel and the notes on this are toasted coconut flakes caramel custard and golden pie crust now for this one i had smelled this one i actually have the travel size lotion of this and i bought it a couple of months ago because i had an online coupon and it was about to expire so I just ordered, they were having a sale on the minis. I think they were like three for 12 and I had like a $10 off coupon. So I paid a couple of dollars for it. Um, and just smelling the lotion straight out of the bottle, it had this weird plasticky smell to me. So I never actually wore it. It's just been sitting over here on my shelf for months now. And I also saw someone say to pair the coconut cream pie with Prada candy and I tried that and it did not smell good on me but people kept raving about this and I was like I'll give it another chance especially since it's 75% off it's only three dollars and some change I'll give it a go if I absolutely hate it I can either take it back to the store or I can give it to somebody else now to me this cream out of the bottle does not smell the exact same as the way that that lotion smells out of the bottle like this is a creamy coconutty kind of smell it smells really good um it wasn't off-putting to me like the lotion was when i first smelled it so i am gonna give this a chance and jasmine bullard in one of her videos talks about layering this with the guest by marciano perfume and i had also had that perfume previously and i wasn't in love with it so i gave it away but that's a combo that she talks about and I decided to try it out because the other day I went to my Burlington and they had this uh, full set for $11.99 um, and it's the big bottle, the 3.4 ounce, the big bottle of lotion and the travel spray for $11.99 and I know on FragranceNet, the big bottle of that perfume is like $25 right now. So I decided to go ahead and get it 
and I'm going to try those two out together. And if I absolutely hate it, then I'll just give it to somebody. Um, but if I love it, then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know, you know, how I like the scent, the scent um, layering of those two. Um, so let's move on to the final items that I got from the sale. All right, guys, so these are the final items that I got from the sale, and all of these are either backups or like misfit items, and what I mean by that is like they're things that didn't have anything to match with them in the store, but I just went ahead and picked them up anyway because they were 75% off, and I figured that I can always layer these with some of my perfumes or my other body care. The first thing is Frosted Coconut Snowball. And I normally don't get into these like Christmassy kind of scents. I'm, I usually, I don't really pay them any attention. And then the ones that I have smelled, I'm not in love with them. Like I don't like the Winter Candy Apple or Vanilla Bean Noel. I definitely don't like the Peppermint one. So normally I just kind of stay away from the Christmas stuff. But this was 75% off. I smelled it. It was a nice clean kind of soft coconut smell and so i decided to pick it up and to be completely honest this smells where is it this smells very similar to this bali black coconut sands to me like they're both a very sweet kind of clean coconut smell they're not like Waikiki or Oahu like those kind of out there bam in your face coconut smells the tropically these are more toned down and soft coconut smells and I actually wore this the other day um I wore Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc and it wasn't given what it was supposed to have gave when I initially put it on um, it just wasn't giving me that pizzazz. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to amp it up with a little bit more coconut, but I knew this was kind of soft. So I wore this with the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. It was all right. Now that I've worn that perfume, I just realized that I'm not really in love with it like I thought that I was. Um, but I've already thrown the box and everything away, so I can't take it back. And all I have is the little travel size, so it's fine. I'm going to continue to wear it, and I'll just layer it with this to kind of amp it up and give it a little something else to stick to. The next thing that I got was this Love Rose Vanilla Body Wash. Um, I already had the body cream to go to this and I like to layer that with my C Fiori so I got this so I could just have that extra layer of fragrance and I'm glad I waited to get this because the other day we went Sunday the day that the online sale started we went into the store just so I could kind of smell some things beforehand and they had the aromatherapy for $6.50 but this body wash wasn't included in that 650 sale and I wasn't going to pay full price for it because I didn't want it that bad. So I just waited and then the next day I went back to that same store and this was 50% off and I still knew that I didn't want to pay that much because I had seen some people on YouTube say that this was supposed to be 75% off. So the next store that I went to had it for 75% off. So I went ahead and snatched it up and I kind of wish that I would have gotten more than one. I thought the whole entire line was going to be on clearance, but the only thing that they had was this and the aromatherapy like roll-on oil. And I'm not a huge fan of roll-on, so I didn't even get it, but I do like this. So I'm glad I was able to pick that up. The next thing I got was Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and they didn't have anything to match this at the store, but it was 75% off, so I just decided to go ahead and pick it up. The notes for this are Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallow, and Creamy Sandalwood and Praline Musk. And I had never really gotten into these like pumpkin-y scents or whatever, but I saw somebody talking about this and in the body care the lotion and the spray more so than the shower gel i couldn't find any of those hopefully they bring it back out in the fall but i decided to go ahead and pick it up because this would just give me something extra 
to have when fall comes around, just something to use. And I don't think I said the notes for this um, love, but it is just rose oil and vanilla absolute. The next thing that I picked up was confetti cake pop. And all they had in my stores was either the body cream or the body lotion. This was in the first store that I went to. So I just went ahead and picked it up because I kept seeing people rave about it online. So I picked up one. They didn't have very many in the store. I think they only had a couple, maybe three. So I went ahead and picked one up. And then when I went to the outlet, they had the lotions and I didn't get any and now I'm kind of regretting not getting it. Um, but hopefully maybe later on I can find some more. I really wanted the spray to go along with this, but I have not been able to find it. I saw someone say that they had it online um, on Monday, but it must have been early in the day because when I came home and placed my order around one o'clock online, these were not on there. Well, the spray wasn't on there, just the cream. But the notes for this are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. I really do like this. Like I said, I wish I would have gotten more of these, but it is what it is. I have plenty of vanilla scented stuff, so having one is okay. And if I can't find the spray, I'll just layer it with something else in my collection. It'll be fine. The next thing I got was Papaya Paradise Cove. And I had never had anything in this line. I think there's this one. And then I think there's a pink one. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe a purple one. Um, I don't recall ever smelling anything in those collections. But I went ahead and picked this up because it was 75% off. And the notes for this are fresh papaya, starfruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. And this is just a nice fruity kind of scent. I like this, perfect for the summertime. This is gonna layer great with some of the fragrances that I have, some of the fruity, you know, more tropical fragrances that I have. So that's something that I'll use. The next thing I got was the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini Shower Gel. And I already have the cream and the spray for this, but I didn't have the shower gel. So I just picked this up to round out my collection. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is something that I have been wearing out. And I bought a perfume the other day that smells almost exactly like this. It's the Escada Flor de Sel. I believe Flor de Sol, Flor de Sel, Flor, Flor de something. I don't know. But it smells almost exactly like this. And I layered those together the other day and it was perfect. So I went ahead and picked that up. The notes for this are Sun Kissed Guava, Fresh Orange Juice, and Seaside Jasmine. The next thing I got was a Strawberry Pound Cake Shower Gel. And this is just a backup. I already have one in my shower now, and then I already have two of the sprays, and I just started my second body cream for strawberry pound cake. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is something that I will continue to keep in my collection. I actually need to buy some backups, but they haven't been having them in my store, so I need to check online and see if they have any more, but I absolutely love strawberry pound cake, so... I definitely had to get a backup of this. And the notes for this are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And the last thing that I got was wild berry jam donut. And I wasn't really on the hunt for any candles. Um, I have a bunch of candles still from Candle Day. And then I have candles from like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I didn't really need any more candles. I believe the first day that I went, the second store that I went to may have had some 75% off candles, but I wasn't really checking for them. I was just trying to get the body care that I wanted and get out. Um, so I didn't really look at candles at all, but I went Thursday to the bigger store in my town to see if they had put out any new body care and they hadn't. So I walked around to the white barn side and I was just sniffing some of the candles. I hadn't planned on buying any, but I'd seen somebody post this in their video the other day and she was absolutely raving about it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and smell this candle. And I smelled it 
y'all this smells so good like i wish i would have got more than one of these because i can't wait to burn this i think i'm gonna wait till fall time to burn this but it smells so good and the notes for this are sweet wild berry jam powdered donut and brown sugar crumble and that is exactly what i smell this smells so good it smells like just gooey fresh donuts like i don't eat donuts with like jam or anything on the inside i don't like jam jelly any of that mushy stuff but this smells so good guys and i i really regret not picking up more than one if i see any more if i go back then i'm probably gonna pick up some more but that's all that i got if you guys found any hidden gems or you got everything that was on your wish list, let me know down in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. And until next time, bye.